Check and double check. A family is dealing with their son's life altering injuries after a tragic accident at a rock climbing wall. Les Trent explains what happened. Disaster is about to strike as a boy climbs one of those wildly popular rock walls. His parents videotape as the eight year old kid reaches the top of the illuminated wall. Suddenly, he free falls 24 feet to the concrete floor below. You hear a thud, then the cries of his distraught mom. Oh my God! Oh my God! He was unconscious and I was holding him in my arms and you know, he had this blank stare, but then he started screaming, you know, am I gonna die, am I gonna die? Aaron and Gideon Brewer's son, George, wore a harness, but they say they realized too late there was no safety rope. They never attached the rope. There was no rope. We had no idea that there was that they never attached the rope. So a, a harness with no rope is like you're free climbing. George let go, thinking he'd rappel down. This is the safety feature little George thought he was connected to. When he made it to the top of the wall, he was supposed to just let go, safely repel down. When he let go, he fell, hit the ground hard. Also, he fell on concrete, and as you can see, this is soft padding. Miraculously, George survived, but he suffered several broken bones, a concussion, and has undergone three surgeries. He was confined to a wheelchair for two months. He recently took his first steps back home in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and needed a walker. Now the popular tourist attraction, Navy Pier in Chicago, is facing a lawsuit. We're suing them because they did not follow fundamental safety procedures. Oh my God! Oh my God! Navy Pier officials tell us they don't comment on pending litigation, but in the incident report, a manager said George was told not to climb but went up anyway without the rope attached to the harness. His parents say that is not true.